My journey into art and creativity was not something I always knew would be my destiny. I'd like to share with you a little bit of my creative world. My path has been one of self-discovery as much as of creativity, seeing where I resist and seeing where I flow. colored glassware and stained glass windows. My parents collected old glass bottles. You know the ones I mean. I discovered that fusing glass really suited my personality. There is a routine and a process to follow. Lots of technical issues when you are melting glass. Heating and cooling, kiln procedures and all that. Limitations and boundaries for a beginning creative person can be a good thing. For me, the actual creation time is a flowing, relaxing, and exciting process. I've worked very hard and had a lot of good fortune getting my art seen and shown in galleries across Canada and the US and in collections all over the world. Color is a huge part of the creative process for me. Often, a driving force to start a new piece is a desire to play with color. My travels also inspire me, especially when I am exploring in countries with traditional cultures. I am thrilled and excited to see the exuberant use of color and ornamentation from the clothing, shrines, altars, temples, and the spiritual ceremonies. The natural world is another big inspiration for my imagery and the mood of some of my work. I love the oceans and forests, and all of the amazing creatures that we share our planet with. I live on an island accessed by boat, so sea life and the wildness and the serenity of nature has been a recurring theme in my work. I have begun to explore paint and mixed media in the last few years, and this has brought other influences into play as well, something buried a little deeper below the surface. I feel the process of painting in a very personal, deep down in my bones kind of way. Through this process, my prairie roots have emerged with the buffalo and the horse. Playing with paint has been a freeing process, a deeper journey into finding and sharing my creative voice. It is so satisfying to smear paint and to scrape, pound and gouge the wood, to scribble and scratch to make my marks any way I want with no apology. It's a very different way of creating than doing fused glass work. Glass can be sharp and hard and there is a certain amount of preciseness. For me, paint and mixed media are much more forgiving and I'm now at a stage where I can handle the freedom that mixed media work brings with it. One medium informs the other and the inspiration builds and flows. I now have an understanding of the creative cycle and I am a firm believer in allowing your authentic creative self to emerge and freeing this amazing energy. The movements in the act of creating are powerful actions that my psyche and my physical body crave. The feeling of aliveness in the process of applying paint is delicious. Impulse by impulse with no forethought. How fortunate I feel to have found two mediums that can satisfy such diverse parts of myself. The end result, the artwork, is, for me, equally alive and vibrant. It's the process that is so different. I am endlessly fascinated with the creative cycle and with what the muse will bring me. Some of it is a mystery, which makes it all the more compelling. I believe many of us need to allow ourselves to fearlessly explore, to make mistakes, to make a mess, to create the space in our lives to connect with our own true voices, with our authentic, creative selves. Often, just underneath the surface, our wild spirits lay dormant. The wild spirit, the tender spirit, the brave spirit.